So how's it going, Puddle of Mud fans? <laughs> Calling my audience Puddle of Mud fans is just gonna make them the most angry, I'm willing to bet. Listen, Blurry is a great tune, all right? I won't hear otherwise. Hi, Neville. How are you doing on this fine morning? I don't believe you had anything to do with what happened to Nearly Headless Nick. I uh, am. Yeah. I don't want to incur the wrath of YouTube censors. So Neville, I don't mean you any harm. I just want you to suffer. Where's the music? There's the music. Endorphins. Who needs alcohol when you've that? Hello, Hermione. Do you know what lesson we've got first thing? It's the leaving, sir, today, Harry. It's defense against the dark arts, Harry. With Gilderoy Lockhart. I can't wait. Hmm, me neither. I'll meet you on the third floor outside the defense against the dark arts class. Oh, look at him. He's happy to be Quidditch. I like how it's just this realistic looking fella. Him just next to like the Jojo character on the left is just a bit off. It's like, lads, what's the art style you're going for here? <gasps> Stop huffing and hawing. Even Harry's getting annoyed at me and my commentary. Oh, the tapestry is like proper gone. It better be gone. Wait, did Hermione tell me where to go? I didn't listen to where she told me to go. Oops, is it in my journal? Third floor. Okay, thank you, journal. I completely didn't listen to what she was saying. La 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 the grand staircase. It's daytime, we don't have to deal with prefects. People have been telling me that like there's not as many prefects on the GameCube version. So what I will tell you now is that I purposefully chose the PS2 version for the tougher experience. That was intentional. <laughs> I just followed the test. What are you getting all turned around for? I thought you were the smart one, Hermione. I thought you were the smart one. <laughs> Go to class. <laughs> Go to class, you. I am. Did you ever play Resident Evil 4 and like the knights come to life? That's what I'm expecting here. Let's go in, Harry. No. Even the door has like spikes on it. I'm getting impaled. Imagine accidentally pushing someone and they just, that's a health and safety risk. I think flying on brooms and defeating wizards that want to destroy Hogwarts is a health and safety violation in itself. I'm just breaking down this fictional universe. I don't know. Let's just go to class. I'm playing a PS2 game on my own. <laughs> Look at that bird. This term I shall be teaching dueling. Let me introduce you to my assistant, Professor Snake. It's a portrait of himself. It's all portraits of himself. The Expelliarmus. Oh, Neville's in this class with us. Hello, Alan Rickman. How are you doing? Give me the dirty eye. I think I can use Expelliarmus to stun the prefix. I could also, like, throw stink pellets to distract them. I can also cast spells to distract them, like normal flipendo, I think. There's lots of strategy. Okay, where did you come from? Why was there a hole in the wall in your classroom, Professor? Okay, all right. Why is there four doors? That's a bit excessive. Why did you need that many doors? I'm not gonna get you even one. Is this where I sit the exam? I don't think I'm supposed to be here. This is where they send you if you forget to bring your calculator to class. They just sent me to this tomb. I'm only just woken up. He's probably not even fully awake yet. And they just put this death course in front of him. Are they golden snitches? No, they're floating. What's going on here? Oh, I do have to hit them, kind of. Listen, if the game doesn't have a proper lock on, how do you expect me to, do I just get close? Uh-oh, 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 okay. Oh, they're spiky orbs. Okay, you're trying to kill the child. All right, I did it. Can I just get my spell book and just go DOS class now because this is too much. It's just too much. Do I go back? Hardly. I don't go back through the four doors of chaos, do I? No. Something opened. Uh, maybe I should have watched the cutscene. It was right in front of me. Oh, jump up here. There we go. Up you go. It's a roasting room. Harry must be boiling in that cloak. Wait. No. I don't. Do I do what I think the game is telling me to do? I don't burn them alive, do I? No way. I burned them alive. Are you serious? In you go to the furnace, bud. Enjoy heaven. <laughs> That's cruel. Ah, here. I was not expecting that. I kind of remember this. I just throw them into the fu- I sacrifice them. Come here to me. Come here, buddy. I've got a place for you. You're gonna join your buddy. This is just cruel. Are you serious? I just throw him into the fire pit. Okay. All right. Oh, I have to get those feathers. I was not expecting this. This is dark. This is just dark. Do I go through here? Da, 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 da. I can't target him. Do I just push this and... Okay, what does that do? It's just all danger, apparently, today. Oh, the knife spell. Or the, the scissor spell. Okay, what does that do? All right, okay. Fair, I think I'm understanding. I have to get that one. Hello fellas, oh there's four of you. Well, I have just the place for you. Can I like throw them down? Maybe. I can't throw them off, are you for real? Surely I can throw them off, right? Yeah, come here, this is just genocide. Number in chamber secrets with Daniel Radcliffe was just burning imps. 
and these imps were like real actors. It was a bit controversial at the time. Surely throwing him from this height would just kill him anyway. I might just leave him. I don't know if I want to burn them all because it just seems needlessly cruel. There you go pal, down the drop, that should kill him. Otherwise I'm just rubbing salt in the woo by burning them alive. Uh oh I just threw them all off. And now it wants me to go back and get one. Oh I have to drag them all the way up here too. I'm just after making it harder on myself. Fine, you, you volunteer as tribute. Come on, don't hit me. They're gonna bite my fingers in a second. No, I'm just gonna throw them and then hit them again. If you hold them for too long, they like bite you. Come on, up you go, pal. Look, I'm being nice. I offered the first two imps, scamps, whatever, as tribute. And I'm just gonna leave the rest of them. As a warning to what happens if you throw green orbs at me. Does Gilderoy Lockhart mention this in his book? I just make the students kill creatures. We should be dropping them off to where like the Whomping Willow is. Oh, there's another cage here. Maybe there's more imps on the other side of this. Oh, I drop it down here. Cool. Climb up, Harry. In you go, pal. I feel bad for the poor feckers. Will this, like, push me up? That'd be cool if it does. Hey! Oh, this just to get a spell. Could you not have just sent me to the library or something? Does every single student have to do this? Throwing their green orbs at me. Okay, can I, can I target the one that's, like, here? How do I target that big one that's, like, here? It's, like, right here in my vision. I should be able to hit it, right? But yeah, it's right here. Can I not hit it? Can I just aim at this while it's here? Apparently not. I imagine this hole is here so that if all the imps die, they just come back through there. So you don't like run out. There's like an infinite supply of just burning. So all the seven-year-olds playing this game can just have all the fun they want. Burning imps. Sets you up for some good morals later in life. Oh, I can target it from here, kind of. It's just an awkward positioning. I'll climb up, Harry. Come on. Can I do it from here? I just couldn't target it that time. Oh, treasure chest, give me a wizard card. I deserve it for all the slaughter. It's just, just a frog. Now you're telling me to keep their frogs in the chest. That's not right. That's not right. Irish man who's just been burning imps suddenly gets a conscience, I guess. Ah, come here with your dark souls, shit. Da, 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 hello. Hold on. I have an idea. You'll never guess what I'm gonna do. Oh, come on, surely, surely. Oh, they just keep getting stunned. Oh, that's cruel. That is so cruel. All right, fair. Oh, I did, I thought I would dodge that. I should have gotten knocking down into the pit. That is, I can't get over this. I can't get over this. Oh, okay. Are we going to fight that big lava monster? I can't remember his name. His fight is just so easy. If you know what to do, you can just run back. Bye lads, enjoy hell. Okay, they're gonna keep respawning, so I might as well just leave them. It's like this big lava fortress, just like under the school. Is this what I do? Kind of. Okay, is that what I'm supposed to do? Well, just let me hit him. This is just awkward. I'm just burning alive. I kind of deserve it for throwing the imps into lava. Okay, just go through the door. This is the first class. All right. There, did we finish class? Great. Gilroy Lockhart deserves a piece of my mind. Can I jump down like this? There's, there's no way this is what I do, right? Okay, Harry, you're gonna break your legs. Oh. That was a big fall. Just give me the damn spell book. Oh. Okay, don't, oh, I thought he was gonna fall down into the abyss. Let's just jump down, there you go. The trials I have to go to to get this, I'm telling you. Now go back the way he came. <laughs> Reflects an opponent's spell right back at them. Oh, like I can reflect a uh, locomotive mortis. That's the one. Expelliar of us. It has an air in it. An R. As the other people say, I say air because we're weird. I'm going to make a triangle. Moino. I think the potion automatically gets used in your inventory anyway, so I can replace it. Uh-oh. Great, it's a boss fight. It's another gargoyle. I forget how to use this efficiently. There we go, I got it, I got it. That's cool. It's like a sort of parry system. It's gonna be hard to do that with the prefix chasing after you. Are you for real? Okay. Okay, well, drink your potionary. There you go. I can also dodge too. I have that ability. I can dodge Viper. Bit hard to time, but I can get it down. Oh, I did it two times in a row. Oh, that should have hit him twice. Okay, oh, that's not fair. Da, da, da. I'll just cast it, Jack Clown. Oh, come on. 
There we go. You can do it quickly. Oh, you can. You don't need to charge it up. Okay. I can just keep tapping triangle. Okay. I figured it out. I figured it out. That's a big one. Oh, God. That should hit him. There we go. That should do big damage. No. Barely. Okay. I think I've learned how to use the spell now. Can I go? It's just tennis. Do I get an award now? Oh, I just get nothing. Was the poxy spell my reward? Okay, well, it's going to be fun trying to deflect locomotive mortis a million times and failing. I can already picture it happening. Here you go. All four doors. I still think it's a bit much. They're trapping me in like properly. All right, Neville, you're next. Have fun. Do I get house points for every sacrifice I made? Poor imps. Do I feel sorry for them? No. Well done, Potter. 40 house points for Gryffindor. 40? All right. I'd like you to use the Expelliarmus spell you've just acquired in a real duel. What do you mean, real duel? Mr. Malfoy, come over here. Let real duel? Oh, you just killed the gargoyle. Cross the line and you lose a point. It is tennis. Ones at the ready. When I count to three... Scared, Potter. You wish. One, two, three. Oh, that should have worked. If I fail this, I'm gonna lose house points. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> what was that fucking walk he was doing? Hit him. Just dodge that one. He's the one calling me scared. The paintings are having a bit of a moment. How is that not hitting him? Do I just need to hit the big ones? Yeah, I need to hit the big ones, apparently. Oh, he's just walking away. Okay, I kind of hit him. How have I not hit him yet? That's farcical. Are you joking? Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay. That was tough. Are you serious? Can I restart? So long, house cup. I hardly knew ye. Oh, I can start again. I'm so sick of this spell already. I have to formula down, kind of. Go away, like. Yeah, I'm doing it too early. Come on now, come on. Get up, get up, get off the floor. Dodge that, dodge that. Good lad. How did that not hit him? Come on, hit him. Okay. Dodge, 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 dodge. dodge. Okay. See, then he does it to the left and I can't hit it that time. I'm so over this. I'm so over this already. There, I've hit you. Oh, I stun him. I see. I get it now. All right. Okay, I get it now. Okay, okay, I figured it out. Yeah, I'm gonna fit. Okay, I know now I can stun him. I have the strategy down. I have the strategy down. I'm not gonna let this little malfecker get the better of me. A 24 year old man. Oh, I hit him that time. <laughs> Just be casting Flipendo whatever chance you get. He just walks into it. Why does he keep targeting that chest? That's what's throwing me off. Target Malfoy. I forgot the buttons. <laughs> I forgot the buttons for a sec. Hit that one back. That should be it. We got him. Stay down, yeah. Oh, he got back up. All right. What was that stance? Ah, go away. Of course, the Slytherin casts a second snake. Harry, cast a lion spell, will you? Oh, it goes for Neville. You're a parcel mouth, Harry. What'd you call me? Why didn't you tell us? I'm a what? A right prick. You can talk to snakes. You can talk Sorry? to snakes because he's a snakey matter. fecker. It matters, Harry, because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. That's why the symbol of Slytherin House is a serpent. Uh -huh. The whole school's going to think you're his great, 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 great grandson or something. But I'm not. Oh, I'm not a Slytherin. You'll find that hard to prove. He lived about a thousand years ago. For all we know, you could be. Anyway, we've got Quidditch practice next at the Quidditch Stadium. I'll meet you in the entrance hall, Harry. It's like Dragonborn for Slytherin. Quidditch, you know what now? We're going to leave Quidditch for something to look forward to in the next episode. All right, there we go. That was the deflection class. We learned Expelliarmus. Actually, because there's his chest here. Expelliarmus! 
Okay, so it's some other spell. So we need something else. Did you kill him, Gilroy? I'm on to you. All right, so in the next episode, we're going to be doing some Quidditch. And before I let you go, there's just one thing I have to tell you, lads and lasses. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on computer predators. <laughs>